short and sweet. <laughs> I go to NURB surfaces and here is the NURBS sphere. Scale it up just for pleasure and deactivate the grid. Now we need the Earth here. How do we do this? Well, we find lots of images of the Earth, how it really looks. But uh, we're interested in this kind of image, this kind of image, because we need a flat image on to map onto our sphere. So it looks a little bit like this. And for example, I pick this one and uh, in a resolution of uh, 21600 by 10800, which is quite big. Now I right mouse click create a new material and for this purpose I just stick to the most simple shader which is the Maya Lambert shader. In the attribute editor I map the color, that's this checkerboard, with a file texture. And the file texture wants to be entered here, the image name, and the image name is World Topo from NASA. It's in my source images folder. Now I don't see anything because I need to press the key 6 in order to activate the shaded display. And since the map is quite big, it takes a while until it's really visible here in the scene. Here we go. It looks dramatically wrong. And that's why we go from the file in the attribute editor to the place 2D texture node. And all we need to do is we rotate the frame by 90 degrees. That's the placement. It's not the map as such. Now we're done. And uh, a little extra. Have a nice day. Short and sweet.